2018 was a very busy year for my right-hand man, Andy Lascano, and his troubleshooters reports. From contractors leaving clients high and dry to a $20,000 overpaid electric bill. Here is a look back. In January, the troubleshooters called the Bureau of Vital Statistics to help Sylvia Hanna get her husband's correct death certificate. His insurance company wouldn't accept the one the Heritage Funeral Home submitted because it had misspellings. Then there was the case of a telephone pole on West 2nd Street in Bishop, leaning dangerously for months. The troubleshooters contacted Frontier Communications because the pole belonged to them, and they came out and put a new one up. In February, Monses Rocha, a deaf man, was about to be evicted from his apartment for an unpaid electric bill. Attorney Carlos Vela asked us to help him help Rocha. Rocha was never evicted, and the electric bill was eventually paid. Latina Kunenverdrag came to us complaining her signature had been forged by someone at a local dealership where she bought a car. Plus, she didn't want the new car anymore. We called the dealership, and they wound up giving Ms. Kunenverdrag her trade-in back plus some money. In August, Richard Conley and an elderly man who was hospitalized asked for our help through a friend. Conley had overpaid his electric bill to Ciro Energy by $20,000. They told him it would take a while to correct the mistake. So did his bank. Uh, my wife said the only one will help you, you. She said you have, this is the only hope you guys have. We made some calls and within two days the money was back in Conley's account. In September, we received complaints about Calvin Collins and William Simmons of Calvin's Remodeling. Customers saying they paid them to do work that was never done completely or satisfactorily. Now, Aransas Pass Police confirm there are arrest warrants out for Collins and Simmons. They each face one count of theft of the elderly. In November, Pete Valdez showed us some of the issues with the Misty Winds mobile home he and his family planned to move into, roaches and mold. So Valdez changed his mind, turned in his key, and asked for his $1,075 security deposit back. He called us. We went to the office with him. He called us later, letting us know he got his deposit back. And then there was Roxana Mireles' story. Her mom had been killed tragically. So Mireles wanted to keep her mom's SUV in the family for sentimental reasons. But the finance company wasn't exactly making it easy. So Mireles called us, and we called the finance company, and they called Mireles. And on December 11th, she drove the car off the lot where the vehicle had been stored. Earlier this month, we showed you the big hole in the floor of the Burdan home in Beeville. They claimed the contractor told them his crew had messed up and he would fix it. But on Friday, December 21st, it was actually a non-profit organization called Rebuild Together San Antonio that started rebuilding the Burdans floor for free. And this is like a miracle right before Christmas. I mean, it's a miracle. Diosito is powerful. He's great. Andy Lascano, Action 10 News.